The Day We Departed from Russia by Gracie Steve. The day we departed from Russia and my friends, I was so sad and plus excited at the same time. I was sad because I, I would have missed my mom a lot and I was and I was excited because I wanted to go see my mom and I hoped we passed the test. We started to walk to get to the place where we wanted to go. It took three weeks to get there. I was so tired of walking. My father told me all about America and how there is enough money for everyone. We, we almost we were almost were almost there to the place he said. We got checked in at the place where we had to wait in line forever it felt like. Then my dad kept on telling me more stories about how what we had to go through at the place. Place. And I was so scared and how he told me how my mom left and all the stories. By the way, my name is Oprah. I'm traveling with my mom, grandma, and my two brothers. We just got on the boat. I was so excited to see my mom and dad. When we got on the boat, it was really cold. So I went to the edge to look, to look at the water, but that was not a good idea because I don't think so. So then my brothers brought a game to play and we sat down and played it for one another. But I started, but it started to get, so I started, but, but I started, but we started to get bored so we had to stop playing. We were almost there and I went back to my dad because he was, and I was asking him if he could tell us more stories. We were almost there and I looked out there. So I looked out the, the edge of the boat and we saw the statue of the building. I was so excited to go to my mom. We arrived, we arrived at Alice Island where we had to get, get on, get checked in and get to the place where we had to get to. The day we just arrived at Ellis Island, I was so excited, so excited to see my mom and my cousins. We just we just got there and I was a little scared. I saw the Statue of Liberty. I saw the Statue of Liberty when, when we got there. I was so excited because I mostly thought of my mom, but but and freedom too. We we had to get into this little cabin thing where we had to stay because it was getting a little dark out. I was so scared because I didn't know if we'd have enough money if, money, and if we were going to pass the exams. It started to get dark and we got to the cabin and we were going to sleep. The next morning we went to go see the Statue of Liberty. After we saw the Statue of Liberty, we were going to go do, some, do something else. The first thing we did at Ellis Island was go to the Statue of Liberty. After that, we went to see some of the shops. Like there was this one shop where they sell books and all, all kinds of things. I saw I saw a little girl looking at the book and she was really nice, but people were being really mean to her. I thought it wasn't nice. My dad said, well, that's not what it's going to be like in America. But so I was really, really scared of going to America because I didn't know what they would do there or anything else. I thought they would be really noisy, but I guess not. They were actually sometimes really noisy. After that, um, we went to go get checked in. We had to wait in a line for like forever. We finally got up to the desk and we were, the guy who asked us, he asked us a lot of questions like, how old are you, what's your name, and then who were where are you traveling if, and if you have anything wrong or diseases or if anything hurts. We, we got into this big hall where we had to sit. We sat up there overnight night, and I fell asleep. 
Then I started to play with my fingers and the mom. I finally got bored. Then it was our turn to get exit. The doctor started to examine us. To examine us. To examine us. He had to check our eyes, check everything, our clothes. I was lucky because I was good to go. But my grandma couldn't because she started to act crazy and she had an eye infection. At least me and my two brothers and my dad were good to go. At least, at least we were good to go because because if my if the examiner saw that my brother's eye was um, starting to hurt, hurt, he would have to go back. But luckily, they didn't notice it. Noticed it. After that, we went to the place where we were staying, and we started to play a game because we started to get bored. But then I stopped because I started to think of my mom. I missed her so much. I couldn't sleep that night because I started to think of her. The next morning, Dad said, get ready because we're going to go see the Statue of Liberty. We were there for a while, so so I sat down and looked at the ground. And I thought, I heard a voice, but it was my dad. Then I heard another voice in my head. And it was my mom. It sounded like my mom. And she said, but then I lost it because my dad said, come on, it's time to go eat. So we went to go eat and we sat down and I started to think of my mom again. Closed my eyes and I thought of her. And then, and then, and then I heard her say something. She said, I love you and I always will. Don't forget it. And she kissed me on the forehead. That was the day she left to come to America. She also also said, I will always be there for you. After we ate, we had to go find my mom. Go find my mom. We we were already there. We just had a, we were already there. We were at Ellis Island. We were walking to the end of Ellis Island. We got, we got to New York. My mom sent a letter saying, "Meet me in the middle of middle of town." And we were all there, so we had to go find her. We were just leaving Ellis Island. We started to in the middle of town. Me and my brother went one way, and and my dad and my other brother went the other way. It started to get dark, so my brother, hit, me and my brother, headed back. Dad was there. We had nowhere to stay, so we, so we found a tarp and we got under there. It was in the. We, it was finally morning. We started to search. We couldn't find her, but it, we saw somebody, and it wasn't her. But after that, we went. We went back, and we told Dad. Well, we haven't checked one place. Let's go check down the alley. So we went down an alley and we saw her. We found her. We were so happy. We took her back to Tad and she took us to her little apartment. And we talked and, and we're happy the rest of the day.